Hi, my name is Doug Miller. I work as a safety and health consultant and serve as core chairperson at the Region 2 OSHA Education Centers. I want to talk to you today about OSHA's recent adoption of the ANSI Z535 standard for workplace facility safety signage. This adoption gives employers the choice of which two existing sign formats they would like to use in their facility. There's the ANSI 1967 format or the new and improved ANSI 2011 format. Both of these sign formats are designed to communicate the same message, but let's take a closer look at what this new standard is. The ANSI 1967 format has been around for nearly a half a century and has a very recognizable layout, color scheme, and simple messaging style. These are the kinds of safety signs you've seen hundreds or perhaps thousands of times before. The ANSI 2011 format relies much more heavily on the use of universally recognizable symbols in order to communicate safety messages. This approach can be easier to understand and much more meaningful, especially to a modern multilingual workforce. Combine this with more detailed safety messaging meant not only to warn of a hazardous situation, but to better explain what the situation is, the potential consequences, and how to avoid them. The ANSI 2011 sign format is a significant improvement over the 1967 format, but it is not, and I repeat, not replacing the 1967 sign format at this time. As long as the signs displayed in your facility are in either of the two formats, then you are in compliance with OSHA signage standards. For more information on the ANSI Z535 standard, contact our OSHA authorized team today at 800 442-3633 or visit us online at emedco.com.